Do you enjoy nerdy electronics, 3D printing, and other DIY tech project videos? When browsing these on YouTube, do you ever have a sense in the back of your mind, even though you don't want to give up what you enjoy, that perhaps with the world burning, often literally, you should be doing something better with your time? What if you didn't have to choose? What if you could engage in some sort of technological praxis? In this series, we'll be looking at various DIY tech projects that have been posted on YouTube and figure out how to use them for positive political action. Considering the state of the world at this time, that means here we will be focused on uses for leftist political action. With this first episode, we'll look at a project idea that is relatively cheap and easy to get started with. We'll be using the Raspberry Pi Zero single board computer. At $5, it is a cheap and highly capable platform used in thousands of projects. As luxury, fully automated gay space communism has not yet been achieved, an important part of this type of praxis is the affordability. The $5 price point and the falling price of micro SD cards facilitates this nicely. So with all this introduction, you might be asking yourself, what are we going to do exactly? Well, the Raspberry Pi has a unique capability, and that is the ability to transmit FM radio. Now to be clear, I would never suggest violating any FCC or other regulations regarding radio transmission. Broadcast signal intrusion is serious business. I would also never suggest looking up a list of uh, local Christian and conservative talk radio shows to uh, intrude upon. Don't do that. Furthermore, I would never suggest you find a place like an intersection or stop sign where vehicles with active FM radios are likely to be sitting for short periods of time. This is strictly for your own personal use not for short-range broadcast signal intrusions. So there is some soldering required for this project. You'll need to know how to solder a wire to one of the little holes on the unit. This pin, GPIO pin four. Duct tape or something sticky is handy. You'll want to use a four to six inch piece of wire. Now, if you don't know what soldering is, this is what soldering is. See, no big deal at all. Make sure the gauge or how big around the wire is, is between 18 and 22. That's what fits in the holes. Chances are, though, you'll be able to eyeball it without having to actually worry about the gauge. Soldering irons are cheap. Solder is cheap. Why not take this opportunity to empower yourself in this small way? I have pre-configured an image or copy of the operating system with the software set up to allow it to begin broadcast as soon as power is applied. Use the QR code on screen to access the torrent, or look in the video description for the link. If you aren't familiar with how to burn images to an SD card, have a look at the videos that will be linked in the description, or use the QR code or title card if YouTube lets me pop them in to reach them. By default, the audio for this Bernie Sanders commercial, along with a station description and station call sign, will be broadcast once the unit fires up. If you would like to change what plays, load a 16-bit WAV file and three text files with the .txt extension onto a thumb drive and plug it into the unit, then power it up and wait for the files to be copied over. The three text files will need to be named name.txt, which will contain up to eight characters, that will be the station name, radiotext.txt, which will contain up to 64 characters, which will be a description for the station, and settings.txt, which will contain the broadcast frequency that will be used. The previously mentioned WAV file will also need to be named radio.wav. Before we end things here, just thought I'd mention a couple things. The Raspberry Pi Zero uses micro USB. 
That is the connector most commonly found on Android phones before the introduction of what they're using right at this moment, USB-C. I used some cheapo micro USB adapters to let me plug in a thumb drive to the device. To power it, use a USB power bank or other 5 volt power source. I'd also recommend making the unit inconspicuous, so you don't have people thinking the circuit board with wires and a battery is somehow a bomb. That would undermine any positive political message that you'd be uh, telling y yourself. Because as we said before, you won't be doing anything naughty like leaving it somewhere that uh, in a small 30 to 60 meter radius will intrude upon other radio signals. Uh, yeah, we're not going to be doing anything like that. Thank you for watching, and I hope this is uh, something you can find useful. There will be more to come in future episodes.